All right. Good evening, you guys. Happy December um, and happy, you know, end of year season and gift giving time. So tonight's class is a fun one for me. I love preparing, making, doing gifts. And um, there are some, a lot of the pictures that you'll see in this slideshow are actually from events that I have done in the past, getting people together and making holiday gifts and DIYs. So before we get going, we've already covered some oily tips and DIYs for the summer. We covered ditching and switching for a healthy home. And then tonight we're doing holiday gifts and DIYs. And we will also talk about how you can buy some things too from Young Living that are ready made. And next week, we're gonna talk about staying healthy while traveling. And that'll kind of conclude this series. And if there are any that you have missed that you'd love to learn more about, just let me know. I did put my email address as well in the chat. And just a quick reminder for anyone that's joining us right now to just put your name, email address, and whether or not you are a member, this will enter you into our raffle to get a nice little fun surprise. And it will also give me an opportunity to send you these slides from this class tonight so that you can actually go back, look at these recipes and have it in front of you so you can have fun making and doing. So again, if you can in the chat, just one time write your name, email and whether or not you are a member and then just click enter. Okay, so for tonight's um, overview, um, I'm gonna briefly explain who I am. Then we're gonna cover some DIY ideas and how to do things and then some ready to go gift ideas, our top picks, and then we'll recap and talk about what's coming up next. So for those of you who don't know, my name is Jade Elmabe and I am very passionate about empowering moms and families with the knowledge of how to embark on a wellness journey, caring for their family using natural and plant-based products. So DIY gifts, we're gonna jump right in here and start talking about how we can make things and what things you might need and some great ideas to give as gifts. So this first one we start with is a room refresh spray. So for those who don't know, a lot of our room sprays are very toxic. And so this is such a great way to give to a host um, or a teacher, um, any person who really wants to freshen up a space. And you can use the same thing as a linen spray as well. So this particular one is for a room. We love to use purification and orange. So what you would do is grab your 50 ml spray bottle and then it is helpful to have a funnel. You don't have to though. And you would put the essential oils in first. So you're gonna put 10 drops purification, five drops of orange, about a teaspoon of witch hazel, and then you fill it with water and you can make a cute label. We also get washi tape. You can find washi tape, I think in any CNA now as well. That's a great, tape to label things and make it look cute. There's also that Dymo label printer. There's lots of fun ideas. And then you can also get some vinyl labels. There are lots of local stores in South Africa that are making and creating these if you want. So place your orders for those as well. I can share some resources like at the end. So you would just fill it up, as I said, with water and then give it a label. And you wanna tell the person, just give it like an upside down one, two shake before you actually spray and use. Okay, then we have, this one is a favorite because it's called Christmas Spirit Spray and we're using our essential oil called Christmas Spirit. So it smells like Christmas and um, it's got all the smells of, you know, autumn and the holidays. So same idea here. And now you can see in that picture, the funnel that is on the bottle. So when you're making this, you wanna put the essential oils in the bottle first. So you're gonna put again, take your 50 ml um, spray bottle. And then what you can do is put in your 10 drops of Christmas spirit, then use the funnel and you can add a teaspoon of witch hazel. I do recommend that you find one that is like not alcohol based if you can, and definitely unscented. And then you're gonna just do a splash of that, really a, a teaspoon is fine, but it's a, a tiny splash. And then you're gonna fill it with water. And the reason we add witch hazel to this is because oil and water don't really mix. So this is gonna make it, you know, um, mixable. Basically, gosh, I'm totally forgetting the term. It's an astringent, that's what it is. So it helps the oil and water to mix. And that's why I say, once you've filled it up, 
using your funnel. And when you use that funnel like that, make sure it's in the center and you're using water that has a spout and you're aiming and pouring right for the hole. If you add a little bit of air between, like I wouldn't let this funnel sit and rest on the bottle. I'd actually lift it a little bit. It will go through really quite smoothly. And then you want to stop just as your bottle starts becoming, you know, a neck. So you stop very close to becoming a neck and then you can put in that spray piece, the atomizer or spray, the trigger spray. And fun labels would be smells like Christmas or it's beginning to smell a lot like Christmas, whatever you want. So we have a lot of fun with these. Um, and then you can honestly spray this in every room while you sing Jingle Bells, okay? So a really nice gift. This one is great for anyone who has a baby. This one we call like our silent night sleep spray. We just kind of theme it for the holiday. But I've seen people call this like night night or sleep well or whatever you want to call this. And um, this one is going to have 10 drops of lavender, five drops of valor. And then again, you need to add that splash of um, witch hazel because you need to mix the oil and water. And then you're going to put your label on again. So these are just some variations of the same idea. So you'll see that in all of these, we're just doing an empty spray bottle. You'll notice that we're using amber colored spray bottles. That's really helpful because oils are very attracted to the sun. And so if someone's keeping this in their bathroom and it's getting a lot of sun, it is going to ultimately evaporate. So you do wanna keep all of our essential oils outside of direct sunlight and the amber bottle really helps. So this particular one, we would use it as a spray on the sheet in a baby's room, like on their cot, you can just spray from a bit of a distance, or you can just spray the room before you come in, before it's time for them to sleep. And it's also a really lovely linen spray, even for adults. Okay, so bug away or pest away. Now that you're going into summer, there are so many insects and irritating outdoor factors. And unfortunately, again, so many insect repellents are actually very toxic, very, very toxic. Most of them have an ingredient called DEET in it, and that is the most toxic thing. Um, so you can now make your own spray. This is totally safe. You can use it for the whole family. If you are using on very little ones, you just want to spray like kind of from afar. And you can actually add even a little bit of carrier oil if you wanted to, to help kind of rub it in. So there's many ways we can do pest away sprays or bug away. But here's one recipe. And as I said, this is a spray. I have also made a roll on and you can do it in, you know, a 10 mil carrier bottle as well if sometimes it's easier to travel with that or if anyone's going to the game reserve I know when I did that I did take a spray because I like to spray this on my bed before and around the bed and then I did put the roll on and put that around my ankles and my ears you know all those little nooks and crannies on our bodies that insects are just super attracted to so this spray bottle you're going to put 10 drops of lavender 10 drops of eucalyptus radiata, 10 drops of purification, and 10 drops of lemongrass. It's a pretty strong one. So this is for those of you who really are in places where there are lots of bugs. You can absolutely lessen this. And if you're giving it as a gift, you are absolutely welcome to do five to eight drops even of each of these things. So this is for the avid oiler or the person who literally gets eaten alive. Like my husband gets chowed down by uh, mosquitoes they absolutely love him so he would be more than happy to do roll-on spray all the things so again you're going to use some alcohol-free witch hazel and then distilled or purified water we use water from my uh, fridge that runs through the filter there and it's totally fine you would drop the essential oils in the bottle first as usual and then you're going to pour the rest of everything into the bottle and gently shake and this particular recipe is from the oil and glass book I know my Eco Sprout sells it. So you're welcome to go and, and get one on there. And um, yeah, but you will still get a copy of this recipe. Okay, another one I love, also a great gift for people is a skin soother spray. So for anyone who is out in the sun, which is pretty much all of us over summer. So I love this one. Again, a nice one for the whole family. It's safe. So really think of teachers, think of um, friends, 
These are just such awesome gifts to give people like the bug away spray, the after sun spray. And so this one is a 50 ml spray bottle. It's got 10 drops of lavender, five drops of peppermint. Remember that peppermint is very cooling. And then in this one, the difference here is we're adding a tablespoon of aloe vera. So that's gonna be very, very soothing to sunburned skin. Again, add a tiny bit of witch hazel and then fill it with water. So you'd shake it before use and then you would spray it where you get too much sun. I actually gifted this bottle and this recipe to a good friend who was getting radiation. He was having some cancer treatment and they said, the only thing you might feel is like a skin burn. So I actually gave him that for, you know, some comfort of post radiation treatment, if you will. Lip balms. So these are really fun to make. And the best part about it is they yield so much. You use very little ingredients and you can make a whole lot. So this is fun if you want to do this process with a friend. Um, and it really does make many of these. I must be honest, I don't know where you can get these little empty tubes in South Africa, but you can use glass jars, you can use metal tins, so you can actually pour this into any of those. Um, but this, this particular one I did was in the little lip balms. And I tell you, this was such a hit. Anyone that I gave this lip balm to said, this really, really works. I've used many different lip balms. I've used whatever, all the like medicinal ones. And I love this and I definitely want to get more. So this particular one, I, when I did events, people would ask to purchase more of the lip balm. So it's one and a half tablespoons of beeswax pellets. It's a tablespoon of shea butter or shea butter, however you like to pronounce it. Um, a tablespoon of cocoa butter, that smells really nice. And then a tablespoon of cold pressed organic coconut oil. So, and sorry, a tablespoon of sweet almond oil. So what you're gonna do with this one is you would be using it. Actually, I think the directions are on the next page. So I'll, I'll keep telling you what else we're using. So. A really nice combination is 10 drops of cinnamon and 10 drops of orange. But I will talk, like, talk to you about different variations of this. Like you see thieves is in my picture here. So a lot of people like the thieves and peppermint for the holidays because it smells very holiday-ish. And it actually has got thieves in it, which is pretty cool. Peppermint plumps your lips. So it's going to have that because it's a hot oil. So it's going to have that hot, cold sensation. By the way, so does cinnamon. Um, so either of those are really nice. So you would put a tablespoon of castor oil, which adds some shine. I don't know if you guys know, but castor oil is usually the thing they're adding to a lot of lip gloss to give it shine. And we can also use castor oil in a mascara. If you, you know, over here we get these empty mascara jars that you can just fill with cast oil and if you actually add a drop of lavender to it it really makes your eyelashes grow as well as your eyebrows so if you were looking to get them to fill in it's a fun thing to do too all right so this one you do need like a medicine dropper or like a pipette or a pipette and a funnel is helpful you don't have to have it and um let's see show you more on the next page so what you would do here is you would use a double boiler. Now, if you don't have a traditional double boiler, you're just going to make one. So you just take the pot, add a little bit of water, add some, you know, heat, heat the water, get it boiling. And then you're going to put all your ingredients into a Pyrex dish or, you know, a, a glass safe. You know, these ones we can stick into our oven too. And um, then you can melt the cocoa butter, shea butter, beeswax, and coconut oil. The big key here is medium heat don't let this boil so it's a slow process to get it to soften you know how we make bar one chocolate sauce that i miss so much it's the same concept so you definitely don't burn it or it's a slow boil to let everything melt down slowly then you turn off the heat when you then you must absolutely let it cool slightly and you can see that the sweet almond oil it's already in like a liquid form so that one you're adding later you let it cool slightly, don't let it harden. Now you can mix in those essential oils. Then you could use a funnel or a medicine dropper to pour the mixture into the lip balm tubes. Honestly, I just used a little um, jar that had a spout and it's a fun little process. It gets like 
Sometimes it gets a little hard quickly. So I will just put it back over that water and let it soften again. But remember, we're not boiling it because when we're adding too much heat to essential oils, it breaks them down. So then you would pour it into these tins or tubs and then you can let it cool completely and you'd place the caps or lids on the tubes. Another little really important tip for you guys is I like to keep my Thieves multi-purpose cleaner by me or near me when I'm making these products because things get very slippery. And so before adding a label, I will have the thing completely seal the product or item. I'll spray it down with the thieves. I'll use a paper towel around it, let it be really dry and non-sticky. And then I will go and label them and add whatever I'm, I'm adding, whether it's a vinyl label, a washi tape. Um, however, I'm, I'm putting a sticker on there to label what's in there. So this is kind of how these look. You know, you pour them in and they they fill up. And then here are the variations. We have peppermint and thieves. We have lavender and lemon, peppermint and grapefruit. And all of these uh, options are coming from oil and glass book. Now, of course, if you don't want to do the whole make the, the lip balm, Young Living does sell lavender and grapefruit ready made for you. And they are wonderful as well. All right. So a body scrub. Here's another really nice great fun idea. This one, you would take 120 ml make, like glass mason jar and you wanna have five drops of lavender essential oil, five drops of lemon essential oil. They smell really nice in combination. And you have to add one and a half cups of organic raw sugar. So I really like to find any sugar that has like a thicker grain and it doesn't matter. You can use a white sugar if you want. I just think the brown just looks a little bit nicer and a little bit more raw. And then you would add a quarter cup of carrier oil. So here you have a choice of almond, grapeseed, coconut, or olive oil. Personally, I really love to just use the, the non-scented ones. So even MCT oil, by the way, you can use that as well. So it has no scent. And then you would combine all those ingredients in a glass jar and mix it and then you can transfer it to your mason jar. I made these little labels that actually stuck on the very top of the jar. Another really fun one is a happy foot scrub. So this one is gonna have the glass mason jar, 15 drops of orange, two teaspoons of vanilla essence. It smells so great in this, two cups of sugar or salt. So you get to choose whichever you want. You can do a pink Himalayan salt and a half a cup of jojoba oil or jojoba oil. You would then combine the wet ingredients first, you would stir it, and then you would pour it over the sugar or salt and stir it again. Okay, I'm just going to stop here for a second. I see that my chats are going off the hook. So I'm just wondering if anyone is needing to tell me anything or if everyone is just writing. Um, here we go. Let's see this. Oh, you guys are just giving comments. <laughs> Okay, cool. I love your, your comments and thoughts. So thank you guys for writing. A lot of us are sharing in here where you can buy some of these um, products. So please make sure you're watching the chats while I'm doing this presentation. Okay, so then um, here's another fun one. These are just little labels that I'd made and just printed on like a home printer, honestly, with um, sticky paper that I bought. So it's print friendly sticky back paper. And then I did these labels. So I called it, you know, joy or eye serum or peace or calm or detox. So you can really make whatever you want. Now we're moving into roller bottles. So here's one we kind of call peace on earth roller or just peace. And this is a 10 more roller bottle. And here you would put in 10 drops of peace and calming essential oil, five drops of frankincense, and then you can fill it with a carrier oil of your choice. Of course, we love fractionated coconut oil or MCT oil. And they're, they're pretty much the same thing. It's just harder to find fractionated coconut oil in South Africa. MCT oil, totally fine. But my true favorite, and I know it doesn't say that in this, but my favorite is Young Living's V6. I love that it comes with a pump and it doesn't have a smell and it's got a really nice feel. So what you would do is the directions, you would roll it closed between your hands to mix it gently before applying to your temples, your wrists or the back of neck. That's for peace. So remember when you're giving someone one of these rollers, you definitely want to give them a quick little instruction. And also it's nice to say, I thought of this for you so that it would help with whatever. So it's really nice to make these custom rollers for people. Another real favorite one of ours is Joy to the World roller, which I mean, we can also just call Joy. 
And this is 10, it's a 10 mil roller bottle again. 10 drops of joy essential oil, eight drops of orange essential oil, and then you would fill it with whatever carrier oil you prefer. Again, I recommend MCT or Young Living's V6. You would, once it's done, as I said, for a gift, remember to spray it with that Thieves cleaner so that you're getting rid of any of the excess carrier oil. And then you can roll it between your hands, tell this person that you're giving it to, and um, you know, tell them where that they would put this. And Joy, I do like to tell people this one is wrists and heart, and they can go behind ears. So any emotional blends where we're trying to calm or uplift or bring joy, any of these we're putting always on our pulse points. It's going to go wrists and it's going to go behind ears. And then it's going to go on for this particular one on your heart. But usually all the emotional oils are going on pulse points. Okay, so Shavasana Rola. This is also great for people who are really into prayer and or meditation. So I kind of called it this yogi, it just it's the name of the recipe is Shavasana Rola. And this one is a 10 mil roller bottle. People love this who are yogis and other ones are anyone who likes to practice prayer or meditation. So this is gonna have 15 drops of frankincense, 10 drops of valor and 10 drops of lavender. And you're going to put that into a roller bottle, fill it with carrier oil, and you can add, you know, um, your V6 or your MCT oil. By the way, I was just thinking, the reason I was getting a bit distracted, I've just made a roller for someone who has a mom who has slight dementia. And a quick variation of this is I made it with frankincense, lavender, and what was my, oh, joy. So I put those three in it. And I've read amazing things about how that has helped a lot of dementia people or anyone that's kind of just older and having a hard time with remembering things. And so, yeah, it's, it's like a dementia type thing or any kind of anxiety in old age. And it's been really helpful. So I just wanted to share that, like just nice gifts to give also older people or someone who might be struggling a bit with that. Okay, so sleep tight, wake bright. This is another really nice roller. This is for sleep time. 10 drops of lavender, eight drops of valor, five drops of frankincense. You can see how similar that is to the Shavasana roller that we just showed you. And a nice little addition, by the way, to Shavasana is to actually add some orange just for some uplifting. And um, a lot of our focus oils are actually very much seen in our sleepy oils. So it works in the same area in our brain to help to calm. Now that doesn't mean if you had a child that had focus issues and you were actually using lavender, cedarwood, frankincense, which are amazing for sleep, that your kid is suddenly gonna go on bonk and pass out. It's not that at all. It's just that it really helps such a deep level of concentration, they say, that it works the same way in, in creating deep sleep when it's time to sleep. So it's not gonna knock anyone out. It's just going to enhance sleep and it's going to help focus. So a lot of the times you'll notice the focus and sleep oils are pretty much you know, side by side. Okay, we love this one for teachers. Young Living has a beautiful oil called YL Haven. It is the same as Stress Away in the United States. And it's the only oil that has vanilla in it. So it smells like a tropical vacation and it's very, very calming. I think every teacher needs bottles and bottles of YL Haven for what they've been dealing with with this past year. So I think it's a beautiful gift. Um, it's a roller that you would make and you can call it Havenly Teacher and you can put 10 drops of Haven essential oil and fill it with your carrier oil of choice. And again, nice to add orange if you want. It's really, it just smells so good, but I love Haven as it is. I don't like to mix anything with it. So that one for me is like perfect as is. And that's such a great gift for a teacher. Okay, these are pesto away melts. Honestly, I've never made these, but I do love this recipe. And I think it's a great one for South Africa because bugs are a big concern. So these are a little bit more complex, but this is such a nice gift for anybody also who is like loves the outdoors. They often have, you know, barbecue, like sorry, bras outside. Um, anyone who has, you know, is going to, several whatever it is just an outdoor person who loves to like live 
in their home where it's indoor, outdoor, do you know what I mean? So this one is gonna be a cup of beeswax pellets, two tablespoons of organic coconut oil. You would melt it together in the double boiler, how I explained with the lip balms earlier. Then once they are slightly cooled, but it's before they're hardened, you're gonna add 14 drops of geranium, 12 drops of citronella, 10 drops of rosemary and 10 drops of eucalyptus. Then you would stir it well, pour it into ice cube tray or silicone mold, put it in the fridge to cool it. Once it's cooled, we transfer it to an airtight container and store it in a cool place. So the cool thing is it makes like eight to nine cubes and you can reuse these because it's made from beeswax. So in general, we actually never add heat or burn anything with our essential oils because it's kind of useless. It like breaks down the properties and you lose the therapeutic benefit. But since we're using this to rid pests, that is its purpose. So this is absolutely fine for this purpose. And you know how you guys have those burners where you put a candle under, this is the thing that you would need to melt that wax and you can use it over and over. Okay, bath salts. These were so much fun to make. I had actually found these little test tubes with a cork. And this is how I put my bath salts in them and kind of sprinkled some dried flowers in between. So I use those labels too for calm, peace, joy, et cetera. And I changed up the kind of salt that we used as well. So you can see that I got really creative. There was like black Hawaiian sea salt I had found, pink Himalayan, a plain like dead sea salt. So you can get creative too on what salts you can find. And then just choose any essential oils that you want to mix up. The key is if you're making a tube or, or any jar, these were glass, by the way, they're not plastic, important, you have to use glass. So when you're making these, you want to put Epsom salts or any of these salts halfway, and then you're going to sandwich your essential oil. So that's going to then go um, on, and then you're going to add more salts. So in other words, you would have, you know, your mason jar. Let's see, this was my jar. And halfway, I've got my salt of choice. Then I'm going to add two to three drops of peace and calming or two to three drops of lavender, and I'll call it calm, two to three drops of joy or lemon. And then I would add the salts. Do you understand? So I'm making this an essential oil sandwich. So you're adding the salts at the halfway mark. Essential oils go in the middle and then fill it. And of course, you can add the dried flowers sporadically and the person would just empty that out into the bath and enjoy that. So that's kind of how those looked. It was really fun. I love doing this like as an event, as I said, to make it like look pretty. And I love doing these things with people. So people came over, made their gifts for all their people. They um, paid like whatever it was, like a certain set fee and it gave them four products that they could walk away with. So some people chose two of these and a lip balm and um, a roller. Others chose, you know, a ro anyway, they kind of mixed and matched. It was really a nice event to do with people. Okay, a great one too is a mermaid hairspray. This is so nice for um, little ones, old ones, as you, you know, as you wish. This particular recipe is actually for hair growing. It helps hair to grow. So it is a spray bottle and you would put 10 drops of rosemary, 10 drops of lavender, 10 drops of cedarwood, add a little bit of witch hazel water to fill in a 50 ml spray glass bottle. And it goes through all those directions in this picture because it actually comes from Young Living's blog. But the nice little tip here is you could substitute the regular water with salt water and that'll give you like a natural beachy look and give you more of like a beach wave kind of look. Then for those of us who are in swimming pools and getting chlorine, lots of sun, um, even being in the beach, you know, our hair does dry out. So then you can make a serum. You're actually gonna use those same three essential oils. It's gonna be 10 drops of rosemary, lavender, cedar wood. Now you're gonna add two tablespoons of jojoba oil, two tablespoons of argan oil, and you wanna grab an empty pump bottle. Um, then you can mix all these things, add the essential oils, and then just do a few pumps. And whenever we put oil in our hair, we do it from the ponytail down, right? We don't ever do on the scalp, it gets too greasy. But a little fun fact is you can always take any essential oil and put one drop in the crown of your head. I love to do this with frankincense. I feel like it is brain food for my head. 
and um, your hair is a natural diffuser and that will not make your hair greasy. So you can definitely do that like one drop and use your hair as a diffuser and smell it all day. Okay, let's talk about some supplies. So I covered a lot in this and those are my favorite um, recipes for summertime and for giving gifts to people. So you definitely want to grab some mason jars, some spray bottles, roller bottles. Those are the 10 mil roller bottles. Dropper bottles are so helpful for carrier oil or if you needed to put olive oil or your argan oil. I like to keep lots of carrier oils in a dropper bottle, which looks very much like the little picture here on the right. And um, that I find is easier to make these recipes with because I can just empty out the dropper bottle. So I would use cloth or paper towels and your thieves cleaner spray, washi tape and marker, shea butter, cocoa butter. Anyway, I don't need to like read you all this whole thing. You will get this image, but this is just a nice little shopping list of what you need. And these were our essential oils that we spoke about. And these are super helpful to make sure that you have a bunch of these if you wanted to place an order this month, if you haven't yet got any of these things or you, you, know, you were just double checking what you have, what you need. So I kind of created a little shopping list that you can double check for all of these recipes. And then you have some ready to go gift ideas. So this is from Young Living to your doorstep. Um, you have Thieves Cleaner Spray, Thieves Hand Purifier, Thieves Hand Soap, Thieves Toothpaste, Mouthwash, Dish Soap, Hand Soap, and Ningxia Red, which we are hoping is gonna come back any day now. Those are wonderful gifts that are ready to go to give people, um, of course, we don't have the bottles yet in South Africa, but we do have these beautiful these sachets. And I like to like just put a little cute string around them and then give someone an explanation on what Ningxia Red is. And yeah, it's just like, I would love these gifts. You know, for me, I feel like so much more meaningful than just the standard, here's chocolates, here's cookies. They're gonna get a lot of those things. For me, it's like, here's some help. Here's something you can use. Even if someone gifted me a thieves cleaner spray, I'd be, so grateful that would be like the best thing for me to receive because we all need that stuff and it's actually really thoughtful it's saying like i love you and i care about you so i want something better for you okay so other options here this is a really cute idea that i've seen several people do laurianne actually loves to do this one um who's my very good friend so she sends out you can add a mug to this and she will add thieves lemon she'll put those two essential oils like in the mug like to present it in a cute way and then she adds her favorite honey like a little small jar of honey and then a festive mug as you can see and we can get a honey stir stick if you wanted or you can just get anyone that's like tub you know in like a tub or however it comes but it looks so cute and then you would give the homemade recipe card for how to make thieves which by the way is one drop of thieves to two drops of lemon so anyone who's new on this call tonight, if you wanna know like, oh my gosh, I really wanna grab oils, definitely go back to the person who referred you, who told you to be on the class tonight. Um, if that's me, my information is in here, if you didn't see it before. And if you're not sure who that is, please reach out to me so I can help you find that the person who can definitely help you. It's of course a referral-based business. So we have lots of amazing, amazing helpers and so much support and just a community of people who wanna reach out and help you. So a starter kit is the best way to get started. It's 2,268 Rand and it gets you 10 of really amazing versatile oils, including lavender, lemon, peppermint, frankincense, orange, eucalyptus, citronella, thieves, vela, and purification. And I don't remember how, I mean, I don't know, sorry, how much you guys were paying attention. I literally spoke about every single one of those oils with these gifts. So it's perfect. So you would also get a wholesale account with that. And um, here we have the recipe book where I shared a bunch of the recipes. They come directly from this. It's called Oil and Glass. It's a beautiful recipe book. And as I said, um, Eco Sprouts, my Eco Sprout sells these. So you can find them there and she brings them direct into South Africa. Other resources for you, Facebook, we have, you know, Young Living's one is Young Living Essential Oils. There's also Young Living South Africa. Young Living has its own blog. It's brilliant. You really need to follow it. It's called the Lavender Life blog. It's a great resource. They always are sharing recipes and ideas. And then they have an Instagram, which is, you know, at Young Living or at Young Living Africa. 
that's all Young Living's resources for you. Our resources, we have a Facebook group, it's private, it's an online community of oily friends. We have Hello Essentials South Africa, which is our local one. And then we have Hello Essentials, which is our global one, which is about 40,000 people on there. So you can look up by recipe, you can look up by whatever it is. Like there are so many files and so many ideas and it's active, people are sharing and you can also search and you can ask questions. So we also have a WhatsApp group. There's so many and you would be added to the appropriate one for you. And then finally, Instagram. And I say appropriate one for you, sorry, just because we have different like our support teams within our main team. So we would make sure you are with the person who helped you get started with oils. And our Instagram page at hello.essentials.south.africa. You can follow us, of course, for inspiration tips, workshop updates, giveaways, belly laughs.